Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, thanks for clicking on my video. Today, we are doing more hair. This is a unit that was not sent to me, so it's always going to be an honest review, but I was a little critical because, you know, you spend your money on something and you want to make sure that you're getting your money's worth. This unit, y'all see the smile, so you already know. I'm not gonna get into too much detail. Before we start the video, you know the drill. If you're new, please hit that subscribe button. Turn on your notification bell so you can be a part of the family. We do a lot of beauty content, hair, nails, makeup, lots of hauls, so you're gonna love this channel. I won't keep you waiting any longer. If you wanna see how I installed this wig, styled it, all the specs, and hear my thoughts about it, then stay tuned and keep on watching. So today I'm trying a wig from Chris Beauty. This is my first time trying out this brand. You get a bunch of goodies in the box. You get a big comb, a edge brush that also has a spatula and a comb. You get wig caps. And then I love that they included flexi rods. I've never had that in a box before. This is the unit right here. And as you can see, the hair is absolutely gorgeous. It was really soft and I just love the look of it. I got 150% density and it's their long hair, new clear lace layered edge, wet and wavy three in one lace wig. This one is a 13 by six and it is the HD lace. It has the comb in the back of the lace and then two on the sides. And then you also get your adjustable bands, adjustable straps in the back, a comb in the back, pretty standard for most wig construction. And then you get your adjustable band that you can take out. So love that they give you that for a glueless option. This is what their layered edge looks like. You can see it even has a widow's peak if you have that to mimic your hairline, but this wig is pre-plucked and the knots are bleached, which I absolutely love, so no work for me. I'm taking my Kenra spray. This is a heat protectant and it also helps to hold curls. Sprayed that throughout the wig, decided I want a side part as usual, and just trying to make it lay down a little flat, but I do get into more styling later. Right now, I was just trying to get an idea of how I wanted to do the hair, but I just knew I wanted it to have beautiful, big, bouncy curls, and just really wanted to try to see the potential with this unit since it's supposed to be three in one. I only figured out two styles. You can wear it straight, you can wear it curly, and I guess this would be a third because I decided to curl it. So I'm just using my curling wand and I'm going through and curling the hair, I was pinning each curl as I did it and blowing on the hair like I was gonna really be able to cool it off. Um, but then I also decided to take the flexi rods and put those in just to help hold the curl better because I wasn't installing it this day, I was installing it the next day. So I just felt like this would be the perfect time to see if this helps to hold the curls better which I found out that it did. And I absolutely loved the end look of how everything turned out. So the process of styling just to make sure the curls would last did take a little longer than what I'm used to, but the end result was worth it. I will let y'all know right now, this is the most expensive wig I have in my collection. It was a gift and I was over the moon to receive it, but this wig is like $400. On the website, I think it shows that it's like $700 and then they have coupon codes, but I had to see if it was really worth the price. So you gotta stay tuned and watch till the end. So let's get into the install of this wig. If you skip through the unboxing, which I know a lot of people do, I'm still gonna give you some details right now because I think you need to know. This is from the brand, it's actually, I've heard it pronounced Chris Beauty, but I know when I first started watching, learning about the brand, it people were saying XRS Beauty, so I have no idea. But I do know that I have been so intrigued by their wigs, mainly because of the price. These things are expensive. 
but they always say you get what you pay for and the more customization you do with the unit or the company does, the more you're gonna pay for it. But that makes it more beginner friendly when you get it. So if I'm paying you to do all the work, when it gets to me, I just wanna throw it on my head and go. So we're gonna see if we can do that today. I got the Long Hair New Clear Lace Layered Edge Wet and Wavy 3-in-1 Wig. This is a 13 by 6 HD Lace Natural Human Hair Wig. I got mine in 150% density and I got it in 16 inches. I picked this one because it says 3-in-1. You can wear it curly, so if you wet it, it will actually curl up, which I think is so cool. I have a headband wig like that. You can also wear it like slightly blown out straight or you can wear it, um, I have it actually curled kind of like a body wave right now. I'm trying to see, make sure I have this right. So I'll insert pictures. I'm trying to see what they say is the three different ways because to me that kind of sounds like two, but whatever. So you can wear it straight or curly is what I see by just adding water. I don't know. But the way they do their layered edge, that's basically just saying that they have pre-plucked the hairline. So I'm going to show you guys real quick. If you skip through, I have curled her. This is the hairline. Absolutely beautiful. The hair is soft. I curled it yesterday because I wanted to make sure my curls stayed. But I'm going to go ahead and take it off the mannequin head. I'm going to wrap my hair, put my skull, my skull cap. Really, Barbara? I'm going to put my wig cap on and my wig grip, and then we'll do the install. All right, time for the big moment. So I did my adjustable straps and I do have the elastic band in here connected as well. So we are definitely gonna see, although I'm having trouble keeping this thing connected, um, we're gonna see how it goes trying to wear this unit glueless. straps down first so I need to pull this back I might have to take this adjustable band off. Yeah, uh, I mean my wig grip. Put it back some more. That's how thin this lace is, which is not necessarily a bad thing. I've just never had it be that obvious. Okay, I think we can make that work, but you can see like, am I even gonna need to tint my lace? I might just need to put a little bit of powder. Okay. Ooh, these curls stayed, yes, okay. I'm gonna spray it. I'm gonna go ahead and spray it because I do want it to stay. It does feel this does not feel like super big head friendly, but I also have it really tight and I don't think my sides are going to stay down. So I'm going to spray it, but I mean, look at that hairline. And then I'm going to cut some of this off because we definitely don't need that to be that far down on my forehead. So let me get my spray, do all my magic. I'm going to fast forward through this part and then we're going to style it.
Do you guys see this? Like, do you... This is absolutely gorgeous. I am gonna go ahead and put a little tiny bit of foundation on the hairline just to help since I sprayed it to kind of take away that cast a little bit, but I don't wanna do too much because I honestly feel like it doesn't need it. <sighs> when they say you get what you pay for, they are not joking. Right, let me get a darker powder and I'm gonna cut away a little bit more of the lace, but so far, I am completely blown away. This is definitely, I mean, again, I say it's beginner friendly because you don't have to do anything, but at the same time, you know, can you afford to pay for this? Does your budget allow? If it does, get it. Absolutely worth it. If not, you know, then we got to find some other options. But this right here is literally everything you need in a wig that is just easy to apply and go. I probably could have done it glueless, but I do want to keep this on for a little while. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead, finish styling it, finish my makeup and come back and give you my final thoughts. Y'all, these wig companies are about to take all of my money. Look at this. Like, how? I do feel like I could have cut off a little more lace, but honestly, since this was my first time wearing this wig, I didn't want to overdo it. I, I'm speechless. Like the way this hair, it's holding the curl, so I'm happy about that. It just, everything is perfect. The length is perfect. It almost feels like it's layered a little bit, so it's just, yeah, we are glam and I absolutely love it. I don't want to get addicted. I don't want to get addicted, but it's hard. When it's easy, everything comes together. I cannot wait to try to wear this glueless because if this is another throw on and go, y'all are not going to see my regular hair very often. You're just not because why if I could do this? So comment below. Let me know what you think. Have you tried this brand? I know it's expensive and they do have coupon codes and sales floating around. This was not sent to me. So this is my honest review. This is worth the money. Absolutely worth the money. Thank you for sticking with me to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up. And if you're new, I hope you decided to join the family. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.